The movie Her. Mm -hmm. Do you think we'll be headed there one day where humans have romantic relationships with AI systems? In this case, it's just text and voice based. I think that we're going to have to like navigate a hard question of relationships with AIs, um, especially if they can remember things about your past interactions with them. Um, I'm of many minds about this because I think the reflexive reaction is to be kind of like, this is very bad and we should sort of like prohibit it in some way. Um, I think it's a thing that has to be handled with extreme care um, for many reasons. Like one is, you know, like this is a, for example, like if you have the models changing like this, you probably don't want people performing like long-term attachments to something that might change with the next iteration. At the same time, I'm sort of like, there's probably a benign version of this where I'm like, if you like, you know, for example, if you are like unable to leave the house and you can't be like, you know, talking with people at all times of the day, and this is like something that you find nice to have conversations with, you like it that it can remember you and you genuinely would be sad if like you couldn't talk to it anymore. There's a way in which I could see it being like healthy and helpful. Um, so my guess is this is a thing that we're going to have to navigate kind of carefully um and i think it's also like i don't see a good like i think it's just a very it reminds me of all of this stuff where it has to be just approached with like nuance and thinking through what is what are the healthy options here um and how do you encourage people towards those while you know respecting their right to you know like if someone is like hey i get a lot out of chatting with this model um i'm aware of the risks i'm aware it could change um, I don't think it's unhealthy. It's just, you know, something that I can chat to during the day. Uh, I kind of want to just like respect that. I personally think there'll be a lot of really close relationships. I don't know about romantic, but friendships at least. And then you have to, I mean, there's so many fascinating things there. Just like you said, you have to have some kind of stability guarantees that it's not going to change. Because that's the traumatic thing mm -hmm. for us. If a close friend of ours completely changed. Yeah. All of a sudden. Yeah. For the first update. <laughs> yeah, so like, that, that, I mean, to me, that's just a fascinating exploration of uh, a perturbation to human society that will just make us think deeply about what's meaningful to us. I think it's also the only thing that I've thought consistently through this as like a, maybe not necessarily a mitigation, but a thing that feels really important is that the models are always like extremely accurate with the human about what they are. Um, it's like a case where it, it's basically like if you imagine like I really like the idea of the models like say knowing like roughly how they were trained um, and, and I think Claude will, will often do this I mean for like there are things like part of the traits training included like what Claude should do if people basically like explaining like the kind of limitations of the relationship between like an AI and a human and that it like doesn't retain things from the conversation um, and so I think it will like just explain to you like, mm -hmm. hey, here's like, I wouldn't remember this conversation. Um, here's how I was trained. It's kind of unlikely that I can have like a certain kind of like relationship with you. And it's important that you know that it's important for like, you know, your mental well-being that you don't think that I'm something that I'm not. And somehow I feel like this is one of the things where I'm like, oh, it feels like a thing that I always want to be true. I kind of don't want models to be lying to people because if people are going to have like healthy relationships with anything, it's kind of important. Yeah. Like I think that's easier if you always just like know exactly what the thing is that you are relating to. It doesn't solve everything, but I think it helps quite a lot.